Thanks to you two, to the musicians. Eva Phelan on the channel here. And Carla and Estelle on the violin. Jerry Walsh, my son on the far right. And who's here on the 10th Street Citroen. A new instrument to trap music which hasn't been used many times in Tulras. <laughs> also on this album, had Eva's mom Aura doing the backing vocals, had Matt Farrell doing the percussion, Joseph O'Fearon is on the sound up here in the back from Freshwork, and he had his guitar and James Costello and Claire Wood really got so helped me in the backroom team for the photographs and the, also all to do the layout of the disc. So the first song I'm going to sing you tonight is one I wrote there in the beginning of the year, Put the Hate Me Down. When we were small we grew up beside the railway line in West Warford in this moor. And um, when we, we were growing up around nine or ten, we used to be introduced to the Woodbine cigarettes because seemed to be a lot of people smoking at that time. They were very young. But the railway line, if you put the hate down, the Irish hate so you just put them down on the railway line, the train would come along, roll over them, flatten them, but the hearts still remained on it. And the new kinds that tried it out on Wexford, they just wiped them off completely. <laughs> but this song I wrote there reminded me me on a lot of the things that happened around the railway line. We used to work with a local farmer, taking his feet and walk. We used to, have to go down the knees and go up and down his feet. But the train used to be always going up and down the track behind us. And then I got a job working um, in the switchboard in the local post office. And this is relating to people who used to go on the train to Ross Lair and the Great and so put the song together in the car and put the hate me down. So we'll go with that now. Thank you. Then one day 
name they throws them down. No more trains come to our town. They said it was still much to run, and that was the end of all our fun. But they hate to be down on the railway line. Chase to the heavy hand to buy the mines. Then to this tear shop the air at night. The hard side up again by this time. But they hate to be down on the railway line. Chase to the heavy hand to buy the mines. Then to this tear shop the air at night. Hard side up again by this time.
married for 37 years. Uh, and we were going out together, my wife and I, for about three years before that. So that's a 40 year relationship that we are in, which isn't bad going in this day and age. And yet, as long as that relationship is, I have been involved in an even longer relationship all of my life, or most of my life. And that relationship is with alcohol. Now, alcohol, we have been going out together, keeping company now for about 50 years. And yet, we, you know, we've had our ups and downs and ins and outs and fallouts and even a few fall downs. But as long as I know alcohol, here's what I don't know about it. Is it male or is it female? Well, for the purpose of this poem, alcohol is definitely female. This poem is called The Demon Drink, and it goes like this. Here's a poem to the demon drink, and those of us who quote her, be it whiskey, wine, vodka, gin, or a plain old pint of porter. Oh, she has her charms, the demon drink. She plays a cunning game, flirty, feisty, full of guile. She is one dangerous day. And she's not choosy, the demon drink. She'll go with either gender. Before you know it, you're posing pals and on a bruising bender. She loosens tongues, the demon drink. She livens up the chat. She loosens brass straps, trouser belts, but we'll say no more of that. She's ruthless to the demon drink. She gives, but she sure takes. She robs us of sobriety and hands us back headaches. She's laid me low, the demon drink. She's left me legless locked. I've been on my ear in the rats. I've been stoshy, sozzled, sloshed. But I don't blame the demon drink. It's all part of the crack. And though I've told her never again, she always takes me back. <laughs> yes, she's fond of me, the demon drink, and I'm fond of her, I'm sure. I'm even fonder of her when I'm dying for a cure. She's not all bad, the demon drink. She brings us all together. She picks us up and presses up when feeling under the weather. So, Here's a toast to the demon drink, to a dame that's like no other. Slauncher, saunter, down the hatch, barman, I'll have another. Thank you.
when I lost twelve years old, a role playing on the score. That was many years ago. Now it's on all my bones. Those days now have long since gone. All that time had long since gone. True, the fields we run and run. All time that the day was done. Race beside the red light. Those days now have not since gone. All their time have not suffered. Through the fields we run and run. All tired when the day was We picked the birds in the wood. Those were days of our mind. Kiss the girls when we could. In the fields where we stood. Those days now. Never liked. 
نه اون دمی کیش شپن واسه درد فن شورت دی که دایی دستور دیگری 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 دی نه وای کامل فر تورزیس این دسپشیز با وان کیو ای در فورس بانج در چالی ای در فورس بانج او در کیو فر نه وای نو وات ویلی بای ریکل ترپی تیز دیگری 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 دی ترزان درد ترزان در پوند زن در پات در چورن جان I love both Harry Day and the two from Japan. A pack of sweaty rushers and a great emotion stout. And a fourth the generator, just in case the lights go out. I like beans and beans, green wipers, and a bag of rooster spuds. And an endeavor over D to help survive the floods. Spider sockets and fish fingers get on chapter down here free. I did the alley, did the alley, did the alley, did the alley, did the alley. Now there's sliding rods and primer can be. Spidey boots for climbing cat man do. Big heads of curry cabbage to make a hater feel. Sledge hammers and men and his men and lovely carved as green. Now there's hatchets and horse corners and there's skins of beans and peas. And a pepper driven chainsaw for cutting bits of trees. Slaver silver saws and sausages, computers and TVs. And diddly yaddy diddly yaddy diddly yaddy diddly diddly me. Now the wife has gone very sick of her kids heading for the rocks. With her punches and her shopping bag, she's hopping round the shops. For she's put the ball in the credit card, and it's sad as sad can be. For no more I need it, I need it, no more I need it, we need. For the house is full of plastic, so she did many want. And the garden is full of furniture, and the shed is full of plants. And I'm living in the doghouse, for over five or ship and me. Because of I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. I'm on a board with a generator just in case the lights go out. No more IVs I mean, or windscreen wipers or bags of rooster spuds. Or in Finland or Burgundy's to help survive the floods. For I'm living in the doghouse in the saddest I can be. For no more I need it, I need it, no more I need it, I need it.
There was no dead loves. There was just the beauty of every stick and stone that surrounded my watery farm. But there was also the beauty of those young girls coming out of that college in Dublin in the mid-1940s. One in particular, Hilda Moriarty, a doctor's daughter from Dingle. I pursued her in the coffee shops of Grafton Street and right back down to Dingle. But she rejected me. And I wrote a poem called Dark-Haired Miriam Ran Away. It was later retitled by my brother Peter on Ragnarok Road. On Ragnarok Road of an
in this elegant poem of mine, beats dangling from a fishing line. Indeed, has a day to you occurred that I could be the early bird, ready to slide you down his throat? Ah, will he relax? I'm just a poet, inspired to verse by your pink figure, all curled up here beside my digger. Forgive me if I stop and stare, but you look so vulnerable lying there. Also, I hope I may be rude, but how do you cope down there in the nude? Like what's it like having to commute underground in your birthday suit, reading about in the dark in your pelt? Can it be healthy that you never get felt by the Randy Anter Centipede whose pedigree is not guaranteed? Ah, myself, I cannot understand just how you cope with near a hand. She cannot touch or feel or hug a fellow worm or fellow bug. Can't pick your nose or pull a pint. Can't write a poem or roll a giant. Can't sign a check or shoot a gun. Mm, perhaps you're having better fun. Still, you ain't got snooker, darts, football. What do you do for sport and tall? <laughs> Massage parlors, disco bars, the water bikes are flashing cars. You tell me you lying in that tree. How does a worm get a thrill? Now I don't mean to embarrass, prime or vex. But what do worms do for sex? Okay. I'm telling you this is me a lie, but I heard your sort of kettle and by. One end of you, they say, is female, the other end is all macho male. My God, but that's a right we laugh. You're really stuck with your other half. You better stick to the same old course to be right painful to have a divorce. But here, I think I'm only wasting time, prattling on and rhythm and rhyme. A single word you can hear. She you don't even have an ear. Ah, oh, and I didn't suppose that you hear that. My other half wondering what I'm at. If she finds out I've been chatting with a maggot, I'd be locked up. I really have had it. So listen, I'm away in love to watch the telly. Off you go there on your belly. And here, keep off the lettuce and cabbage seeds. I and keep an eye out for centipedes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh, 
Rule with love and kindness, and the weak, the wild, the strong. 